Hi, I'm Ashley. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know if this is going to be a weekly vlog or or what. Maybe. I kind of want it to be a weekly vlog, to be fair. I'm using my camera today instead of my phone. Usually, I use this phone, which is my iPhone, what are you, an X? iPhone X. And then I've got my actual phone, which is my iPhone 11 Pro, which I also film on sometimes because these cameras are better than these cameras on here. I decided I was going to get my actual camera out and actually film like this and see if I like doing it this way rather than just with a phone. So this is really handy when you're like out and about is just to put a phone out and talk to a like a phone but when i'm home which is most of the time when i'm vlogging because i don't like vlogging outside because it's weird because people look at you funny <laughs> i might as well just get the whole like camera out and talk to the camera so anyway happy monday it's 11 o'clock in the morning i need to shower i need to eat enjoy my really chill day today's just gonna be a really chill day i've got some things i want to do around the house i've got some washing needs to go out in the garden we have like a thing so we used to have a washing line but it like pinged off the wall I mean, it was one of those ones that like retracts in itself like it wheels wheels in it like retracts in and you like tuck it away you can like fold it up against the like wall so that it's inconspicuous out of the way and then when you want to use it you like just run it across the garden and hook it onto the hook on the other end i was doing that but then i put a whole load of washing on it that had like towels and jeans on and it was obviously too heavy for it and the screws just flung out the wall and the whole line just fell on the floor so it's not attached to the wall anymore maybe i'll try and do that later as well we'll see i don't know i know one of my neighbors is on night shifts so i don't want to disturb him too much so i'll do that like later on in the day when it's a bit later on peace out i will catch you when i'm doing something after i've showered probably i'm gonna i'm watching a youtube video of someone else clean their house so hopefully i'll feel inspired to clean my house probably not <laughs> maybe it will but well, sometimes it does we'll see bye hi hello i'm now showered i've put my hair i haven't washed it i've literally just chucked it straight up into like a big i say big a flat ponytail because it has no life in it at all but yeah i thought i'd show you the outfit of the day i've got a little vest on and a pair of shorts and that's it <laughs> that's it really i was gonna talk to you about this plant really because we got thrips over here and we have been sprayed down with brevanto we have had a shower we need to have another shower because we are dry in there but look at this new shiny leaf it's so shiny especially compared to all the other ones with their fucking damage so yeah i think i haven't noticed any more um then again i hadn't noticed any more bugs but we're a bit dusty crusty we have got some damage we do need looking at we probably could do with being repotted at some point but but yeah we just we're just not good over here and it's such a massive plant like if i lose this plant i will cry but i think we are gonna have to lose some leaves like this guy down here he's gonna have to go yeah we're, we're just we're gonna have a shower we're gonna get washed down we're gonna get sprayed over with some bug spray we're gonna lose a couple leaves near the bottom i think this one as well has probably got no life left in it poor thing <laughs> this is the one that gets run over with a hoover that's why he looks like this <laughs> He is a big boy. He takes up the whole bath. There's one leaf here. He's just, he's not getting in the shower. That's fine, we'll figure it out. So I've, I've rinsed off every leaf and I've just like kind of gone over the stems as well because they're all wet but they're, they're not my biggest priority really to be honest. Hi oh, hello, this is a bad angle. These are my bonsai shears for snipping away bits of dead bonsai. My bonsai tree died so here we are. They actually need like looking after, I need to like clean them. It's, for now it's fine. I'm gonna snip away so I'm gonna get that really yellow one that was down the bottom here. There's not a lot left he can give. I'm so sorry, friend. I'm actually really sad cutting away bits of like the dead plants. I'm so sorry. I don't really want to snip away too much, to be honest. But I think, where's that one that gets run over? Because he actually looks really healthy, other than like being run over by the hoover all the time. He's actually quite a healthy leaf. Like there's no yellowness. There's no sign of pests, except for me. <laughs> this is how I drain my plant. After I've like showered it, I just stick it on the bath tray to drain. Okay, we're back at the bad angle. Apparently this is the one to get to kill thrips, so I got some. I'm just going to spray down the whole plant and then just leave it in here for a couple of hours to drip dry. That'll do, bye. Hi, it's half past two. I'm just about to put the plant back, but I wanted to just say, look how empty my room looks when there's no plant there. Like, it's just so empty. It's all dry, all the leaves are like nice and dry now we're all good they don't look too bad i think all the ones that i've kept i think all the ones that i've kept have like minimal damage this one actually has a bit of damage but yeah all the ones that i've kept hold of have like the minimal damage and i think we're gonna be okay the soil is wet but we're not dripping anymore because it's this got one of those things that like it lets the water out but it also keeps a little bit in there because i only water this like once every two weeks and i'll do it this way by sticking it in the shower hi <laughs> 
so I've put it back into its normal home just there and it literally the room just looks so much like just more done with the plant there what's going on here i knew this curl was down but like i think i i need to do a food shop maybe go to like aldi or something and get some food but i'm kind of too lazy and i really can't be asked it's a really sunny day it's not particularly hot but it's gonna get hotter like through to the end of the week i think we're looking at like 30 odd degrees near the end of the week again which is it's not it we did not like that. It means the bedding is going to come off and we're just going to have a sheet to sleep under because I have to sleep under something. I'm just going to be lazy for like the rest of the day. I have I haven't done a lot, but it feels like I've done a lot. And it is a sick day at the end of the day. Oh, it was a sick day yesterday, but I'm so tired. This plant's doing well as well. This guy, he's very wonky. From the front, he looks great, but he's so wonky. And I think he might need repotting soon, actually. But he's doing quite good. He's putting out a new leaf. He did not get the, the bugs either, like when that plant did. He didn't get any bugs, which is good. I need to spray over. I've been spraying over the other plant because I'm paranoid that I'm like spreading the bugs so I'm just gonna spray everything over and I've just been giving everything a nice like light dusting of bug killer <laughs> just in case welcome to the sofa Okay, when I come downstairs this morning, I noticed there was a small bit of dirt on the floor, just down here. And I was like, okay, it's obviously come up here because there's like bits of loose soil here. Oh, there's another one. Oh my God, right. It was not from this pot. It is my propagations of my jade plants, which are up here. And it's obviously come off. So I have now I have two that have no pot because they weren't obviously in here and all the dirt's obviously here on the floor. Someone's obviously, Mitchell, has tried to tidy it up thinking it's just come from this pot. I think it was just the two. Because like, this is fine. I actually thought this pot was going to be like damaged. Oh, damaged. I was worrying about this plant because it's putting out new leaves and it's it's kind of a little bit dusty. It's why it's got a, the full Provanto spray over every leaf. But yeah, it turns out it's not. It's just these plants. So I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to just pop that up with this one because this doesn't need all this soil anyway. So maybe I'll put all three into this. How are the other ones doing? So this guy, he needs water. Cool. Hi, I didn't realise this video just has no outro whatsoever. I didn't finish vlogging on the camera. I actually went out. I think this is the day I went out and I just didn't have a phone with me, so I just didn't. So I thought we'd end the vlog because it's just turned into, it started as a daily vlog and then it just went into, here's my plant that's got bugs. So <laughs> I thought I'd end with like a plant tour of like little house tour, plant tour. Welcome to the plant corner. I'm actually sat on a cat bed right now because it's comfy. This is where all the plants live. Well, not all of them. Obviously they're like spare on the house, but like this is where the majority of them are. Yeah, we're gonna start this way out. So firstly I have my alocasia. It is putting out a big leaf. It's gonna be massive. Um, I actually bought this in, I think it was like B&Q or something and it was not healthy. It was like half price. So he's doing really well actually. He's like recovered. Next up is, you can see the Monstera. This is my smallest monster, well, sort of smallest Monstera, smallest normal Monstera. He is quite big to be fair. He's in like a decent sized pot, not huge. He has a tiny moss pot that's trying to keep him from falling forwards. This one's quite a slow grower compared to my other ones, which is weird because he's in a smaller pot, so he hasn't got as much room to grow roots, so he should be producing more leaves, but Maybe he just needs a feed or something. Next up is one of, I have five peace lilies. This is one of them. This needs cutting away. This one was actually a present from my nan for my birthday. Thanks nan. I need to give it a little, a little prune, a little cut down. It's my begonia. What are you, mac maculata? Something like that. It just keeps growing upwards on these bamboo. This side, not so much. This side's actually not as happy. And I don't know why, but it is putting out new leaves. They're just tiny. Could do with some attention, to be honest. All my plants could do with some attention, but it's me right down the back is an aloe plant i'm sure everyone's seen an aloe plant for aloe vera i don't like to disturb it too much we bought it for a pound in a boot fair and i dropped it and it fell out the pot and i had to like repot it and then i lost a couple of leaves and like it was a bit touch and go for a little while but he's doing quite well actually he's pretty much recovered from the dropping next up is the table let's start with the little tiny one so at the end of the vlog i was talking about the baby jade plants they're doing okay they're not doing the best but they're doing okay one of them actually lost almost all of its leaves there's a lot of highlight in here i won't lie so we've got one here this this leaf is coming off just here this leaf has died but i can't get it off there we go so he's just kind of like quite tiny and then there's another one down here there's just one leaf but yeah there's just three tiny tiny jades in there next is the slightly bigger jades so these ones are like the size of my thumb quite happy he's actually put out there's like a little tiny tiny baby one right next to him another one they're both sort of the size of my thumb this one's the biggest this one's smaller than the other one this guy i can't remember what he's called but he's doing really well he's in a little like a really nice pot I actually got it cheap in dobbies it was like a reduced one he needs he doesn't need much attention to be fair he just needs like 
pruning. Next is a pothos cutting. I think I showed this off in the last one, but we've grown a bit more, a bit longer. These just grow, they grow and grow and grow. Well, I might take another cut in and put them in the same pot so I've got like a couple bits. Although someone was saying you can like bend them around in like a circle and they'll grow down and then grow more like out of it. But quite happy just having my one vine, single vine. And then next I've got this guy. I don't know what this is called. We got this on Friends of Friends, I think. And you get like five babies for 25 quid, so like five pound each. I have no idea what this is, but it's very pink and I like it quite a lot. If anyone can tell me what it's called, because I don't remember. Next is another pink one. This needs like, I need to cut and rearrange because it's really leggy this one is one of the ones that like it'll die off really dramatically and then you water it a little bit and it'll be like i'm fine after like an hour <laughs> someone tell me how to take care of this plant please because it's just living here and it's just growing quite quickly that is i think that's it for that table let's start off with cuttings i've got two cuttings one of them is rooted really well and one of them is not rooted at all and then this one they were both in the same glass together they were both in this bottle until that one grew roots that were kind of like started to get a bit too, like tough to get out of here but this one's just not doing as much there's actually like fuck all on this one i'm kind of sad about it maybe i need to change the water today this is this was the top cutting it's actually put out a whole new leaf since it's just been in water so i'm happy with that to be fair it's growing still it's just not growing roots next is another peace lily this one also needs attention also quite a lot going on in the pot these were actually found on the side of the road mitchell said there was a woman throwing away all of our plant collection which immediately made me think they're all infested with something they were but these ones seem fine this seems all right i actually split this into two plants and the other plant is in the kitchen i'll show you that later banana tree uh he's very crispy on the bottom here he needs some attention he's probably in way too bright a light but he is putting out new leaves and the new leaves look good so i think maybe i just need to like mist it more or move it out of the shade a bit more but there's a good like five little babies growing in the bottom of the pot i don't know if you can see them probably not this big monstera this is the one that i had all the trouble with but he's put out a new leaf recently it's a very shiny new leaf as well. He could probably do with feeding, but he's got a lot of roots and a lot of aerial roots and he's in quite a big pot, so it's understandable that he's not putting out as much root like as much growth up there. He is focusing on roots this summer. I've talked about this plant a lot, I think, so I'm not gonna talk too much about him. Next up is my there's some dead leaves on the side, I'm so sorry. Um, however, he is doing very well, he's very happy. But well, I've actually put you on a tripod, like a handheld, to show you the shelves because there's a lot going on. So, firstly, bamboo is literally taller than I am. And yeah, it's the mini monstera. It's from the cuttings from the little one down there. Had this for, I don't know how long I've had this for. Why is it, oh, sorry, Beth trying to call me Bell with. Hi, vlog. It's not Beth calling, it's Araya. You say hi. 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 <laughs> Okay, right. I've hung up the FaceTime with the robot. She's hung up on me, actually. And I'm going to show you the rest of the plants. I'm actually going to start not with the shelves. I'm just going to show you these two quickly. So we've got another piece of leaf. This is one I bought from Tesco for £1.50 because it was dying. And I've just nursed it back to health. And now it's really massive and healthy and great. Excuse that leaf at the back. The knee's cutting off. Um, next up is this rubber plant, which I could do with spinning, actually. Um, it could actually do with coming like, over here to where all the other plants are, but I needed to quarantine it because it was a new plant. So he's just living there for now. Next up, we've got the pilea, which is also pink. We like the pink. This is Mitchell's plant, technically. It was a gift to him. I can't remember when. I don't know if it was a leaving gift or a birthday gift or something along those lines. Next up is this piece of leaf. She's being dramatic. Uh, she needs watering, obviously. But this is my original piece of leaf. When we first moved into this house, I bought this piece of leaf. It was like the first house plant that i bought living here and yeah it's other than being really dramatic it's done really well it's in a huge pot so first we have this dragon plant slow grower just chilling here happy as can be really dead bonsai tree he's just staying there it's just a twig now i did try to bring it back to life because i thought i'd be able to but i cannot next is this pilea which is humongous from this bit but it's very very wonky it was on a stick but the whole stick has fallen over so the whole thing is leaning right forwards and um, it is just sort of growing this way rather than up or round but i'm gonna at some point try and repot it upwards and um, there are some babies in the back as well which we're doing quite well um, i didn't realize how long this was either this has got a really really long this is on the top shelf this is my satin pothos we'll come to that next up is another pilea this was uh one of the babies i think from this one actually one of the babies doing really well happy as can be next is the variegated monstera it was a cutting it was just one leaf it's put out one leaf there's some very 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 light it could just be damaged to be fair it's probably not variegated at all there's no white on it but you know it's fine and there's not an awful lot of white on the stem when i got the stem so i won't be surprised if the next leaf has no variegation either if it just 
grows as a normal plant. I won't be surprised. And to be honest, I'm not upset about it because it took so long to grow this leaf. Genuinely, I think it's been a year since I got the cutting. It's taken a while. Next shelf up, we've got spider plant babies, spider plant babies, spider plant babies. This baby is from this plant. These babies are from the plant in the bathroom. Show that later. But yeah, these ones, they're doing quite well, actually, all things considered. Um, I don't water them nearly enough, but they're still quite happy. Highly likely that will put out some new babies at some point. Next is the pothos. As I just said, I didn't realise how long it got. It's literally all the way down here. Like, hello? You're humongous. When, when did you grow this fast? What the hell? I feel like it wasn't growing past here for the longest time. And now it's like so long. So and this is one of Mitchell's favourite plants. It actually needs watering, I can tell, because the leaves are starting to curl. So he needs watering. Next is the cactuses. These are from Ikea. There's another one there. The three came in a little pot. And then there's a the really big one that I got as a gift from the Wish Wednesdays facebook group i talked about that in another vlog next is the zebra plant it's i can't remember the actual name of this but it puts out these massive yellow flowers however i nearly killed it i've brought it back to life it's only got two bits of growth that are actually on it but they are doing quite well and they do they're doing well they're doing fine so we're leaving it to it i did have a cutting but the cutting completely died i rooted it i put it in soil it grew for a little bit and then it just suddenly died on me so never mind i think that is everything on the shelf and there's everything on the bottom the cuttings this shelf Mowgli, my favourite plant of all. Hi. There's another one. So there's an orange. Hi, orange. There's a China doll plant here. I don't really like these, but it was really cheap and like came in the pot and I nearly killed this one as well. Oh my God. Anyway, he's doing well now. He's fine. And let's go to the kitchen before we go upstairs. This is the other half of that piece of leaf that was cut from the lady who was giving a lot of plants away. This is the other half of it. Again, it's doing really well. It's putting out a lot of new growth in the middle, which is great. Then we've got the Maranta. Is it Maranta? I think it is. Yeah. He's doing quite well. He's quite long actually. He's growing pretty well. Next is the J plant. The iconic J plant. I have the tattoo of this on my arm. Next we've got this Hawth Hawthornia, I think. I think that's what it's called. This has grown quite a lot actually. I recently repotted this and it's grown quite a lot since I've repotted it. So that's good. But I bought it because it was really a cute little pot. It's got little feet. There's a dead bug on the side. That's great. There's some dead cuttings that died because I probably didn't water them. I don't know what this is called. What is this? I don't know. Another plant. Another pilea. This was the first baby but I pulled out the mother plant. The mother plant's upstairs. I will show you that. Don't get excited. It's not very big, but this is doing quite well. The front of it, like all of my pileas, they're all really lopsided and they're great from like the, where the sun is, but from like the rest of the house, they look terrible. This is a spider plant cutting that I found on the floor in Milko's and I've rooted it and it's doing all right. I mean, there's some tiny, tiny growth just in like right in the bottom of it. Next, we've got another jade plant and some babies in the bottom of the pot there that are just chilling, quite happy. I don't know what this one's called either. I can't remember. I think it's a cordyline, cordyline, cordy, something like that. But it's got pink on the edges. We like the pink around here, we really do. But yeah, it's got like pink around the edges, the flowers. The newer leaves don't have them as much. Um, again, nearly died. So all the new growth that's coming out is quite small, but that's fine. The snake plant, this is a whole new growth that's come through like this year. And it's honestly gigantic. Like it's taller than the cupboard now. So I have to have it poking out. When I first moved into this house, I was like, oh my God, this window needs a trailing plant. And now it has one. However, this is gonna live in the bedroom at some point. Yeah, golden pothos. Then we've got the oxalis. This needs watering because it's very sad at the moment. Normally it's big, bright, open. It looks like butterflies from underneath. This is dead. Don't, I don't want to talk about it. This is dead. I don't want to talk about it. There's a palm. <laughs> this is also cheap and I really like this part, but that was cheap in Tesco as well. Mitchell bought that at home. This is the mother pilea. It's not very big. It's in, it's a matching pot to the piece of it. It's downstairs and also the monstera. It looks great from here. Honestly, it looks fab. However, not that big, but do you know what? It's doing okay. It's doing quite well considering it looked like it was going to die off. Mowgli again is here, my favourite plant. I don't want to talk about it. And the monstera, I just like the eye, which is doing really well actually. This again was a cutting that I bought and it's just one step. Them, but she's doing really well. Could probably do watering at some point. There is a new growth for the back there, which is cute. We've got the... Honestly, if I could remember my plant names, that'd be great, but I honestly have no idea. What's it called? Something like a flamingo pot or something like that is like the weird name for it. This pot's one of my favourites, actually. We bought this from a guy that does pottery on Folkestone Harbour on like a Sunday market, and he had loads of stuff. And then we've got a spider plant. This is the original spider plant. Look at all these babies. There's so many of them, but they live in the bathroom, so they kind of die off. Um, but yeah, this is the original spider plant we got. It was a gift from someone Mitchell worked with. I think they might have done a trade. I think he gave her one of my jade cuttings. I'm not sure. And then uh, this was an asparagus fan, but I don't want to talk about it. Next up is the bedroom. Star of this vlog so far. She's doing well. It's now the end of August. That vlog was like the 8th of August, I think, or like earlier than that even. New leaves are all good. This was the new leaf. Um, I did knock it over. Well, I didn't knock it over actually. I moved it a little bit and it just sort of fell like two hours later. So there's some dirt on the floor that I haven't hoovered up yet, but we'll get to it. And then another pile which is down here. That's that, I think, is all the plants in the house. I'm pretty certain that's all the plants in the house. 
thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up and a like and if you didn't then let me know in the comments what i could do better because please tell me tell me how to look after my plants as well in the comments like please tell me because i've been winging it since moving into this house and buying all of these plants i have been absolutely winging it i couldn't tell you the amount that have died thanks for watching peace out bye